Hey guys, congratulations to our trivia winners. The question was, where do the dinosaurs stay when not in battle? And the answer is in the ground. I did two winners because the first answer was underground. And that's so close to in the ground, I thought it would be really lame to say no, you lose. But the correct answer is in the ground. I'll take underground so you're both the winner since you're both, those are the first two right answers. I was surprised when I found out the answer. I thought it was Billy's garage, but it shows what I know. I'm kidding. Also, honorable mention goes to these guys. You guys gave really good answers, even though that's not what the card said, but I think uh, your answers were better than the card. Really only the Tyrannosaurus that's, that rises from the ground. Everyone else is already kind of in their own place, so. Oh, and one more from the, uh, from the trivia. Jibaruski says, in the hotel, they explain in the 10th episode of the season that they get a discount for staying there frequently. Jerry, that is a lie. Yes, that is Jerry, everyone. And he knows, he knows that's a filthy lie. So he is in the hall of shame. So while I'm here, I have a question for everybody, and it's what is your favorite episode of Mighty Morphin? Well, I guess the first three seasons, Power Rangers season one, two, and three. Or what is your favorite episode in each season, I guess I could ask. So if you remember the episode title or what happened, you can put that in the comments, I'm curious. And I still haven't found anyone who's at that 1994 Universal uh, Amphitheater appearance by the Power Rangers in California. Anybody? Anybody know anybody? I can't find like any news stories or any YouTube footage or anything. It's like it never happened. Maybe it's a conspiracy theory. No, probably not. So does anybody know anyone? What are people thinking of Power Rangers Samurai? In some ways I like it, in other ways I, I think it's missing something, but I, I, I'm not sure what. I mean, it, visually it's very nice. I love Mia's bad cooking, and I've actually really been enjoying Spike lately. Yeah, he's kind of an interesting character. In some ways, I kind of feel like they're just sort of dragging out the episodes and things aren't happening fast enough. Does everybody remember Jaden has a secret? I don't dislike it. Am I making sense? What do you guys think? Oh, and speaking of samurai, has anybody seen the regular Gold Ranger figure or Octozord in a store within the last three, four, five months? Um, I've never actually seen the Gold Ranger in a store. I've seen Mega Mode, but not regular mode. I have it, but I got it online. So if you've seen either of those, I'm curious what state and how long ago or how recently. My keys came. Thanks, Mr. Ass. I haven't opened them yet. <laughs> but I will. For people asking how long it takes to get stuff from CS Toys, about a week. About seven days, maybe a little bit less. Depends when you order. All right, how about another trivia question? Some of these are really, really hard. Which teenager is the Green Ranger? I don't expect anybody to know that. Let me see if I can find a better one. Eesh. All right, this one's pretty hard too, but this, I'm gonna go with this one. Which weapon does Zack, the Black Ranger, use in battle? Uh, the last trivia question, I just picked whoever was first with the right answer. Should I do that again, or should I just choose someone at random? Because Really, the first person with the right answer kind of ends the, the contest, I guess. So, is it more fair to just select someone at random after a couple days have gone by? What do you guys think? Again, which weapon does Zack the Black Ranger use in battle? You have to answer one of the following five choices. And the choices are Power Lance, Power Axe, Power Daggers, Power Bow, or Power Sword. Uh, Mia, that's not an answer. Mia, you're gonna go right in the Hall of Shame with Jerry. <laughs> Alright, that's the trivia question, no cheating. It's a very tricky question, I know. But somebody out there is gonna get it. Alright, I know this is kind of a short video, but I'm doing a lot of work right now, so I have to go back and do that, but I wanted to do the contest thing, the trivia thing, and I will see you guys next time with the, with the results. Good luck. And good night, or good morning. Good afternoon. It's about afternoon. See you later. I just got the Go Say Ultimate uh, Korean version. I can't find the Japanese one. But everybody says it's the same, so let's find out. Looks right. This is what I care about. And yeah, the chrome. It's got that shimmery blue and the gold chrome.
And I'm back. Uh, the minute I stopped recording, the doorbell rang and it was my go say ultimate. It's from Bandai Korea. I had asked a while back if anybody knows what the difference is between Bandai Japan and Bandai Korea, and nobody did. The eBay seller said it was exactly the same as the Bandai Japan version, and the only thing that was different was the box, but there was a huge difference in price. So that made me very suspicious as to why it would be so much less for just a different box if it's really the same toy. So I held off for a long time looking for the Bandai Japan Go Say Ultimate because I'm very loyal to Bandai Japan. Um, but since I wasn't finding it and I really just want to be done with my Go Sager collection, I finally caved because the seller was having a very good deal, free shipping. Okay, my camera just randomly stopped anyway. So I bought it and it's here now. It came very quickly even though the seller said it would take a while. The thing about Gosei Ultimate, I took the chance because there's no metal on it. There's no, uh, there's no lights, electronics, sound, anything. There's just so little to screw up, really, <laughs> except these chrome headers, which is really, which is really what I was buying. I had to have these stupid chrome headers. And they are very shiny, and the uh, blue and the pink have the, the shimmery blue on the back of the heads for the eyes. As far as I can tell, it is exactly the same. So if you guys see a really good deal on a Bandai Korea Go Say Ultimate on eBay, I would say go for it. Uh, yes, I do like to have complete collections, but I also like to get good deals on them because collecting Super Sentai is expensive. I ended up not buying the Shinkanger Bull until after Shinkanger, because usually things go on sale, and instead of paying like $145, I ended up paying $36 for it. Um, along with a bunch of other things, so I thought that was very reasonable. The thing walks and, you know, does all that. So, I figured, especially since Gosager didn't seem to be so popular, that when Gosager concluded, Gosei Ultimate would be, like, on clearance at a bunch of places and on eBay, and the show ended, and it just vanished. It was sold out everywhere, and it never went, and it never dropped in price. So, yeah. Oops. All right, I'm really ending now. I just wanted to let you guys know in case anybody's still missing that, if anybody wants it. I know a lot of people don't like it. But anyway, I have it. I'm happy. It's Bandai Korea. I'll put the seller in the, uh, in the description. So I'll click more info in the description and you can get the seller and all that. And now I'm really going, so thank you for watching. Goodbye. I made a thing. <laughs> it fits. If you ever wanted to make a... Tricera Gosei Arm Megazord, you could. Totally.